Okay, friends, welcome. So in this video now, I'm going to create the chat layout, a controller, and also the index page. We need to add also the link here to navigate to the chat. So let's start first by creating a chat GPT controller. And on the terminal, I'm going to say artisan make controller. Hit enter and the name is going to be chat GPT index controller because it's going to be invocable and select the two, which means for the invocable here. Okay, hit enter and we are okay. Today's video is brought to you by Cloudways, a managed cloud hosting platform for PHP based applications. So we have WordPress, Magento, Laravel and PHP. Cloudways takes over all server management and security hassles to let you solely focus on your business. Their custom stack provides performance boost, managed backups that keep your app safe and a staging environment that lets you test code without breaking live sites. Plus, pre-configured Composer and integrated GI make deployments a breeze and you get a choice between five top cloud providers including DigitalOcean, Vulture, Linode, WSL and GCI. With Cloudways, you not only get flexibility but peace of mind. So if you are an agency or an e-commerce store owner, Cloudways is a great fit for all your managed hosting requirements. Don't forget to use promo code link in description. Let's close now this and let's open the web routes. And uh, inside the middleware out, we have a group for profiles here also without the chat routes. So let's say a route and I'm going to say get slash chat slash and here i'm going to pass the id of the chat which is going to be optional so let's say here question and why i want to do that because if we don't have the id it's going to start a new chat otherwise we're going to display the history of this chat with id okay and let's say here use that chat GPT index controller and pass here the class. Okay, and we need to give it also the name and I'm going to name it chat.show. Okay, let's save this and make sure you import that chat GPT index controller up here and let's close this. And now I'm going to open the chat GPT index controller and here we have the invoke method and i don't want the request here what i want here is id which is going to be string dollar sign id and initially is going to be null the return type is going to be response inertia response and let's say here uh, first, I'm going to get all the messages we have. Or let's leave it for now and just say return. Because now we are going to work only with the layout. So let's return the inertia render. And we need to render the inside the resources. I'm going to pages. I'm going to create a chat folder and then the chat index file and let's leave it right now like this let's save and let's open now the uh, resources js pages and here i'm going to create a new folder with name chat and then create the chat index file here so let's say chat index dot view okay let's say we set up and we are okay then here I want now to use the chat layout. So let's go to the layouts and create a new file and I'm going to name it here chat layout dot view. Hit enter and let's just say V setup. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here just I'm going to add some 
glasses. So let's say first I'm going to add the aside. So the aside with some glasses here and don't worry about that because I'm going to show you the GitHub repository and link and you can find the, all the classes there. So here we have the aside and in that side of the side I'm going to add a, a div and inside this div I'm going to add the slot with a name and let's name it a let's name it a side. Yeah, I think it's okay. Then after the side I'm going to add a div which is going to have uh, all to display the history and prompts of messages. So let's say div and I'm going to say class to be margin left auto and auto because we have here the side and margin bottom I'm going to say uh, 6 on large let's say width to be brackets here and 75% and leave it as it is right now. Let's close this and then I'm going to add a div with class to be padding top of 6. Okay then let's add mine here and inside is going to be the default slot. So the slot without the name. Then after this div here, now I'm going to add another slot for the form for that. So I'm going to just paste here the div with some classes. And as I said, don't worry for classes because I'm going to give it you the link of the GitHub repository. And inside now this div, I'm going to add a slot with a name and let's name it a uh, input or form let's I'm going to name it for like this and now let's save this and let's close and let, let's use that chat layout so import the chat layout and use it here chat layout now in this chat layout we added three layouts uh, sorry three slots so for that let's say here template with the name of uh, aside and then we have a template or we don't need a template because it's going to be the default one we just add the template with the name not aside but the name for and close and inside here I'm going to add a div with class to be uh, let's say with full flex and let's say text to be white okay now here is going to be all the, the messages we are going to have the history if we have a chat because if it's new we don't have that good if I save now as it is and let's open the browser uh, we need to go to the chat but first let's add a link here to navigate to that chat so for that let's open the authenticated layout and here on the links just copy this and duplicate it change the route to be chat dot show and we don't need to add uh, ID of the chat because it's going to be for the new one let's say here just chat and let's say close and come here yeah here we have the chat if I click and uh, we have something like this because this is a extra large monitor so let's change that on the layout I'm going to open the chat layout and here when we say just large I'm going to add also the extra large if we have the extra large it's going to be a width of let's say 80% and maybe also 
and this with this going to be in the square brackets and let's say also if we have true excel is going to be with of uh, 85 percent and also this one is going to be in the brackets square brackets and if i save now and come here yeah now we are okay this is the layout now and here we need to display all the links for the messages and also the link for the new message here is going to be the form so for that let's open and chat layout on the chat index now for the form let's i'm going to add the form right now so let's say here a section and let's give it a class to be vx of uh, a six and on top i'm going to say zero so top zero okay and then and then let's div, let's add another div with a class to be with full and then another div which is going to be class relative also it's going to be flex one and flex and i'm going to say items sender okay now here is going to be the input and let's say input type is going to be text and i'm going to add some classes here so let's say class so i added class with full bg slate 700 text wide and rounded to be large and let's say here also a placeholder and what I'm going to say, let's say, ask Laravel AI. Now, if I save as it is right now, and let's see on the browser. Yeah, here we have ask Laravel AI. Okay, now that's it about this video. I hope you enjoy and see you in the next one, friends. All the best. Thank you very much.